It was a terrible battle. I had one man killed in the opening burst of fire, three seriously wounded, and then it just kept up for the next five hours. We, we were dragging our wounded with us, uh, trying to get to uh, Captain Ripley and the command group. How are we going to get through this? You hear the volume of shooting. You hear a lot of bad guys there, and uh, my troops all asked me, how bad is it going to be, Lieutenant? I said, it's going to be bad, but that's all we, the only thing I could think of was my company commander and his command group is cut off. They're surrounded by North Vietnamese. They're executing all the drivers, all the wounded in the uh, convoy, and these are all U.S. Army soldiers. And when Captain Ripley told me that they were executing, I knew that we couldn't stop. We had to keep, keep going. So I passed the word to my men to fix bayonets. We're, we're going to be in close combat very soon. And we were. And they started running across the road, running into us. And then finally, uh, after about five and a half hours, I was able to link up with Captain Ripley and his command group. As far as uh, receiving the award today, I was very humbled by it because that award came from my troops. They deserve their, this medal more than I do. Every single one of them.